This is one of the world's most commonly cared for pets in the entire world, except for China, where they are hunted as prey. Luckily for this one, who has been dubbed Casey by his owners, he lives in Maryland, where little to no dogs are hunted and their numbers can flourish. This is the life of a golden retriever. The dog lives and dies based off of his owners. They control nearly every aspect of its life, like when the dog can relieve himself, when the dog eats, and when the dog goes outside. However, the dog doesn't seem to mind being an enslaved beast, as he happily goes about his day as a prisoner. Although his owners have most of the power, the retriever does control some things, like whether or not his humans can watch Tiger King without a constant noise of barking for 45 minutes. If Casey wasn't hiding behind a TV screen, the dog would certainly have his ass handed to him by the tiger. The dog also controls where he lies. Oh, his owner is not going to like that. In the midst of the corona wasteland, the dog has thrived. Despite his abandoned dog park, the retriever has had all his owners home for endless entertainment and play. Along with the play comes the roughhousing. Usually seen within the younger dogs in his species, the dog particularly hates when you pull on his tail. He will bite for that. The dog will always look for additional ways to replenish his food. During dinner time, he will beg at the side of the weakest owner, which is always father. Dad will fold, as usual, and make him a Kong stacked with peanut butter. This is how the dog gets his golden color. The dog will stay up to the wee hours with his teenage owner in order to be a part of the late night food binge. His favorite foods are cheese puffs, cheese sticks, and bread. In order to obtain such precious items, the dog implements the one trick he knows how to do. Sit. It works every time. The dog will flee from the vacuum until it is time to go to sleep. After the coveted late night meal, the dog drifts away to peaceful sleep. In the morning, the dog urges to go outside. Once outside, the dog enjoys doing three things. Fetching sticks, car rides, and walks. The owners all walk him differently, but first he is always imprisoned by a rope around his neck. If he escapes, good luck catching him. The father tends to like long hazes for walks. The two will go upwards of 15 miles a day. The mother will walk with leisure for a shorter while. You want this? You want this? The teenage owner, however, prefers to go fast. The dog will pull him on his longboard at incredibly high speeds. While on walks, there is always adventure to be had. The dog always pulls towards foes and fellow canines, Finn and Indy. They will bark at one another until the end of time, or until the owners get annoyed and pull the dog away. However, not all dogs in the neighborhood are foes. He has many friends too. Meet Bella, a husky. On his way home, he makes sure to urinate in the other dog's territory to establish dominance and frankly piss them off. After returning home, the dog will quench his thirst and proceed to sit on the couch. But most of all, the life of a golden retriever consists of one thing. Scratching. A lot of scratching. This is the life of a golden retriever.